that thrilling serial, Captain Marvel and the Monster Society of Evil. Last month in Chapter 1, The Pearl of Peril, Captain Marvel ran across the trail of the most frightful menace yet to burst over the world, Mr. Mind, mysterious master of the Monster Society of Evil with headquarters in unknown space. Having at his beck and call the world's greatest villains, Mr. Mind sent the terrible Captain Nazi to rescue two magic black girls from a princess of India. Captain Marvel ran down his old enemy finally in India, but along came I back to take up where Captain Nazi left off. Chapter 2 The Jungle Chap Well, folks, round one between Captain Marvel and Mr. Mind last month was pretty exciting. But here's round two, more thrilling and chilling yet, for Ibak is no cream puff. And way off in the deserts and jungles of North Africa, Captain Marvel ran into a terrific trap set by the cunning brain of Mr. Mind. We find Captain Marvel bidding farewell to the Princess Rajabuni, and leaving in pursuit of Ibak, who has grabbed the two magic black pearls. Please don't fail, Captain Marvel. Those two black pearls are vital to Allied victory. You must get them back. Trust me, Princess. I back just ran off. What do I do now, Mr. Mind? Marvel's already after me. Quick! Around the hill just ahead. I have hidden a rocket ship. I've got you now, I back. Hurry, I back. Take off. He'll never catch you now. Even Captain Marvel is amazed as the powerful craft hurt goes into the sky at meteoric speed. Haha, I've beat you at your own game, Marvel. Speed, to the Ludo. Wow, he's out of sight already. But the world's mightiest mortal pursues with his own unmatched velocity. He's heading west from India toward Africa, not even on a little extra speed. Seconds later, partway around the globe over the wastes of North Africa. Down you go, I back. your soul! But the crash that would have killed an ordinary mortal leaves Ibak unharmed, for he too possesses sensational powers. Guess you've forgotten how powerful I am, Captain Marvel. I'll smash your brains in with this ten-ton hunk of metal. Tisk tisk. I guess you don't remember the old days. Huh? And how often I licked the stuffings out of you. It all comes back to me now. But landing beyond the side of Captain Marvel, Ibak hurriedly gets in touch with his evil and cunning master, Mr. Mind. He's beating me. What do I do now, Mr. Mind? Stupid, brainless idiot! Use the Black Pearls. They will enable you to escape by showing you which way he comes. When held together, the Black Pearls show any scene desired, like a crystal ball. Oh, Black Pearls. I wish to see which way Captain Marvel is coming. Now to take the black pearls from that dimwit. Ha, oh, he's coming around the right side of the border, so I'll sneak around the left. And now, while he's looking for me where I was, I give him the slip entirely. Ha 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 ha. Captain Marvel realizes the trick too late. Gone, he got away from me. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha, I'm safe, he's leaving. And with his nemesis gone, I back once more communicates with his wicked master known to world only as Mr. Mind. What are your orders, Mr. Mind? Shall I take the Black Pearls to Germany for the Axis? No, they can be used for the Axis right there in North Africa. An important campaign is being fought there. We will see that the Axis wins. And somewhere in space, in his laboratory of monstrous evil, Mr. Mind gloats over his cunning machinations on Earth. <laughs> When I've made the Axis win on Earth, the world is mine! Even that upstart Captain Marvel can't stop me! <laughs> Meanwhile, Captain Marvel makes his way to the nearest Allied base in North Africa, an American camp. Good, I'll stop there. But I'll lie low for the time being, as Billy, so... Shazam! <laughs> the Sentry is startled by the thunder and lightning changing Captain Marvel to his other form. Billy Batson. Halt. Who? Why, it's only a boy. Say, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Maybe you have, soldier. I'm 
Billy Batson, radio reporter. I'm er touring the war front. Billy Batson, oh boy, oh boy, am I proud to shake your hand? Wait till the fellow serial came all the way from the good old U.S. to visit us. The whole camp welcomes the famous boy newscaster. Hey man, guess who's here? Billy Batson. What? Hooray! Whoopee! And that night around the campfire, Billy answers the endless questions about home. Yes, the Empire State Building is still standing. The girls are still pretty. No, they haven't stopped Big League Baseball. Yes, Jive is still popular. Gosh, I'm running out of breath. The commanding officer prepares a special event. You've given Morale a wonderful shot in the arm, Billy. In appreciation, I've hooked up a microphone. You can give your regular news broadcast to America by shortwave. Thanks loads, sir. And folks, let me tell you, these soldier boys of ours are going to bring victory for America before you can say, Adolf Hitler. As for the black girls you heard about, Captain Marvel is on the job. Captain Marvel? Is he around? Is something going to happen around here? I don't know yet, sir. I just know that Captain Marvel is waiting for any move by Ibat who has those two pearls. And not far away, in the wastelands, Ibat again uses the Black Pearls in their magic power of vision. Oh, Black Pearls, show me the office of the commanding officer of the nearby American army camp. These are my sealed marching orders to be open tomorrow. See, I back how valuable the Black Pearls are. Through them, I will be able to spy upon every Allied move. Through them, I will make the Allies lose battles, lose the war, lose everything. Yes, Mr. Mind, but how will we start? Simple enough, Dort. You will sneak to the camp and substitute false orders. Now write as I dictate. Yes, Master. And soon, under a tropic moon, I back approaches the sleeping American camp. I think Print Whistle has a better chance of sneaking past the sentry, so I back. Like Captain Marvel, the monstrous I back has a magic word which brings flame and sound, and changes him back to his original form of scrawny, ordinary little stinky Print Whistle, a human sneak who has been given the power to become the terrible I back by Prince Lucifer. Right past the sentry, <laughs> no snake could do it better. Now to leave for the false orders that will march this army right into a trap. But Billy Batson, unable to sleep, is in the nearby barracks. Golly, I just can't sleep. I keep wondering what I back and Mr. Mind are up to. Guess I'll look out at the moon. Holy moly, stinky print whistle on the prowl. Shazam! What? Billy Batson? I back? The two magic words call one evil, one good, bringing down double sound and light effects. <laughs> that usher into being two figures, one evil, one good. I take it you're up to no good, you no good. Blast you, do you always have to turn up? Poor little eye back. I do get in your hair, don't I? <laughs> no good, did I? As Captain Marvel passes to pick up the letter, I back leaps to a captain. Axis truck. Oh, run him down with this truck. A letter, eh? Let's see what skullduggery Ibak and Mr. Mind have cooked up now. Oh, grind him into sand. So that's what the plot was. Ooh, he's got the letter and foiled our plot. What do I do now, Mr. Mind? Run! You've still got the black pearls. We can have something new. Captain Marvel passes only long enough to explain to the commanding officer. Captain Marvel, what's up? These false orders would have sent you marching south tomorrow, and then pursues Ibak. South into the Sahara Desert, where he would all have died of heat and thirst. Captain Marvel, you've done a great... Skip it, sir. I still have to get the black pearls from Ibak. I can lose myself in this tangled up jungle, I hope. Using his evil powers to the utmost, Ibak runs at terrifying speed and reaches nearby jungle land. Not this time, Twinkle Toes. Ooh. Captain Marvel swiftly gains, but not before Ibak reaches a group of sleeping elephants. Wild elephants, that gives me an idea. Grr, that wakes him up. Now to get them moving towards Marvel. Ha ha ha! Again! That big bully will get trampled flat by all those wild and mad elephants. He's still alive.
alive. Not only still alive, but kicking. Oof. Now say that word. I back. Go ahead, say it. Don't say it, I back. Don't give up. Fight back. Fight back? Listen, Mr. Mine, that's all I've been doing. I quit. I back. And pleading stinky print whistle replaces the monster I back. As for you, Mr. Mind, I'm saving a big punch for the day you stick your nose anywhere near me. Bah! I'll best you yet, Captain Marvel. Bah! Bah! Alright, Stinky. Hand over the black pearls. Captain Marvel, look! Primitive natives! Huh? Quick, Print Whistle, now's your chance. Say a word and impress the natives with your magic. I back. The answering flames of magic are the natives. And they fall down in worship before I back. Do my bidding, fools. Grab this red baboon. I don't want to batter those innocent natives, so I'll just impress them with my magic. Shazam! <coughs> but Captain Marvel seems to have made a mistake. For I back instantly grabs Billy Batson as soon as he appears. Ho oh, ho fool. If I'm not mistaken, these are cannibals. I think a little boy would be a tender morsel for them. <laughs> and so the sun comes up. <laughs> These cannibals are going to have their breakfast, Billy, on you. <laughs> Holy moly! Triumphantly, the harsh voice of Mr. Mind gloats over Billy's doom. That's the end of you, Billy Batson, and the end of Captain Marvel. Now I back will deliver the black pearls to Mr. Nippo in Tokyo. There they will be used to crash America in the Pacific. Is there any hope for Billy now? Slowly, he's being boiled alive in a cannibal's pot deep in darkest Africa. Can the spray boy somehow escape and get back on the trail of Mr. Mind, the arch villain of all history? Find out next time in Chapter 3, The Second Pearl Harbor.